Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to Guns N' Roses Central and with the Oscars this past weekend I wanted to do a true story episode about the history of Gary Oldman and of course the band Guns N' Roses. And Gary Oldman won for Best Actor in the movie Darkest Hour and you guys may or may not know this but he also appeared in a Guns N' Roses music video for their last music video they did which is Since I Don't Have You. So both Slash and Matt Sorum took to Twitter to congratulate Gary Oldman on his Oscar win. And Slash has stated previously on Twitter, as far as 2010, that Gary Oldman as Sid and Na Sid Nancy was effing classic. And Slash also gave an interview a couple of years back where he talked about his favorite actors and he mentioned Gary Oldman as being one of those actors. So Slash said in his book, around this time, I was partying a lot with Gary Oldman and the day of my shoot, I took him with me to the set. After November rain and estranged, I was fed up with the band's high concept videos and this promised to be another one. All of them masterminded by Axel. I nearly walked off the set when I was told that I needed to stand in a pool of water and pose while playing my guitar for something like 15 takes. Gary was the one who intervened. No, no, he said. It'll be just fine. Just hold on. He disappeared into the makeup and wardrobe room for quite a while, only to emerge in a completely authentic Victorian costume made up to look like Marquis de Sade. He had a few props too, and he decided that he was going to row me in a boat across the river Styx as I played my solo in the pouring rain. By the time we got to shooting, he lost the costume and ended up playing this white-faced demon in tight black shorts. He almost did too good of a job. After that afternoon, I'm pretty sure the next time I heard from him, Gary was in rehab. So Gary Ullman gave an interview recently uh, ahead of the Oscars where he talked about how he actually got the role in the Guns N' Roses music video. So it turns out the band members were huge fans of his movies. I did want to ask you a couple of random things, that, just personal curiosities. I'd love to know how you ended up in a convertible with Axl Rose. Uh, for the since I don't have you music video for Guns N' Roses, how, okay. did, how did that come to be? They had seen State of Grace. No. Yeah, they were big fans. Really? Yeah, and they called me up and said, uh, the, "Yeah," and said, "Would I do a, 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 you know, we'd like to have Gary for Guns N' Roses," and um, that's how that happened. <laughs> you play this kind of sadistic mime like you're the devil. So you're playing, uh, yeah. but it's like a mime-ish yeah. kind of uh, yeah, not the, uh, unique note not, in your... Not, not the only time I've played <laughs> the... Uh, not the only time I've played the devil. Right. It's so things haven't been all roses for Gary Oldman since being nominated for the Oscar and even since winning it. So he's been in the news recently and probably for reasons he doesn't want to be regarding domestic abuse allegations from his ex-wife. So the Daily Mail interviewed one of his ex-wives and there were some allegations dating back to 2001 that being married to Gary Ullman for four years was a nightmare. So she spoke to TMZ in the wake of her ex-husband's Oscar win. She said, congratulations, Gary, and congratulations to the Academy for awarding not one but two abusers with Oscars. She said, referring to dear basketball writer Kobe Bryant, I thought we had evolved, but what happened to the Me Too movement? Now, it's important to note that Gary Ullman's a big supporter of the Me Too movement, but that was something I just broke in the last couple of days, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. But uh, let me know in the comment section below, did you guys know that Gary Oldman was in the Since I Don't Have You video or did you not? Comment down below and let me know. And as always, guys, make sure you subscribe for the latest Guns N' Roses news sticker.